Hello all, I am Vipin Odial. I am working as an application specialist in Emerson. Before proceeding to PPC, that is power plant control, it's important to know important parameters which PPC deals with. Starting from active power. So active power is the true power which is utilized in the circuit, which is actually used in the circuit. Then reactive power. So reactive power is also known as phantom power or false power which never gets utilized in the circuit but it travels back and forth and it is an important parameter then frequency as we all know frequency is the oscillation per second so if we have 50 hertz frequency this means 50 cycles 50 ac cycles per second then uh, power factor so power factor is nothing but a ratio of active power is to apparent power so the more is the active power the better would be power factor and then apparent power as the name implies the power which is apparent so it's like a com complex combination of active power and reactive power what does ppc do ppc automatically controls five parameters active power reactive power voltage frequency and power factor how does ppc work now ppc is given a set point by the grid or the by the customer right and there is a power quality meter which is situated at point of interconnection this point of interconnection can be one kilometers away or it can be 10 kilometers away physically connected can uh, the physical connection can be fiber optic and the protocol of communication would be Modbus or 6050 or any other okay so PPC continuously receives the values from power quality meter. It looks at the values given by the grid, the set points, and then it tries to match those values by giving command to inverters. Modern PPCs nowadays have two important parameters, which is power system oscillation damping and artificial inertia. For to damp the power oscillation, power system oscillation damping module should be there in the PPC. And because the PPC, uh, sorry, the PV based or the wind based uh, generation does not have that rotational inertia, in that case, the artificial inertia should be implemented in the PPC. And in many countries, uh, the PPCs may be, may, may be required with a certification and DNVGL is one of the bodies which provides that certification.